is a test of the RC62 motor vlogging system. This is only a test. No need to panic. Hey dudes, yep, I'm out on my motorcycle. And I'm trying to do a motor vlog. Got a slightly different setup than my usual. So just something I'm gonna try here. Let's see if it works. Anyway, y'all know that I'm taking up a new hobby of woodworking. So that's taking a little bit of my time, not much. Ain't got a lot of time these days. It's been like that for a long time. And uh, <laughs> one of the reasons for no time these days is my dog. My little dog Aussie. She is a uh, Australian red cattle dog. Red Healer, I think, is the uh, is the name that her breed is given. And I love my dog, but she's 14 years old. She's got to a problem where she can not always stand up. She's dizzy and she'll fall over. She's got bad knees in the back uh, in her back legs and uh yeah and she's been diagnosed as being nuts <laughs> yeah the the vet says she's got dementia no shit dementia anyway so i got a, i got a little story and this is probably going to be one of many if i get to do any other motor vlogs i'll tell the others this story is about my dog aussie my wife Jeannie and our little Roomba vacuum cleaner. If you don't know what a Roomba vacuum cleaner is, it's one of these little round circular things about four inches high that help keep your floors clean automatically. It kind of toodles around the house on a schedule and does its cleaning. So typically we have the, uh, the little Roomba, which I named Arthur, <coughs> set up to run between 6.30 and 7.30 in the morning so that it runs before we get up, cleans some of the dirt off the floors, and, you know, just generally makes Jeannie's life a little bit easier and our house a little bit cleaner. So this one morning, Jeannie gets up early before Arthur had finished his job, and she takes the dog out because I'm still sleeping, and she's figuring, well, you know, I'm going to let Rob sleep. I'm going to take the dog out. I'll feed her take her out to use the bathroom. So, Jeannie takes the dog out, the dog tinkles, Jeannie comes back in with the dog. Jeannie has to go to the bathroom herself, so she goes to the bathroom. She comes out of the bathroom to find that the dog had defecated, pooped, all over the living room. Oh, and the best part? Arthur tried to clean it up. <clears throat> yes. So, at a certain point, Jeannie comes and wakes me up to try to help. She pins the dog in the little area by the back door while she starts cleaning up some of the poop and also grabbing Arthur and trying to clean up Arthur. Now, when Aussie did her poop, it was rather loose I mean, not diarrhea, but it was like soft oatmeal kind of mush. And when Arthur went through it, it got up into his wheels, into his rollers, into the vacuum intake. I mean, it was just like totally coated. And then it smeared it all over the floor. And luckily we got tiles through most of the house, but we do ha did have emphasis on did, and I'll tell you about that in another story. Uh, brown rugs, you know, running up and down the hallways and by the doors. Anyway, Jeannie gets me up. I see what's going on. I start helping her clean up. I go grab the mop bucket. She starts cleaning up the big chunks of poop and, you know, cleaning up Arthur. And this takes us about three hours. Three hours of cleaning poop. So, okay. We're finally just about done. I've got the mop outside, I'm cleaning the mop up, putting it away. And I hear Jeannie, ah, I can't talk this morning. I hear Jeannie screaming for me. 
I come into the house and she's holding the dog. The dog's still in the little pinned in area by the back door. And apparently the dog had defecated, fell in it, got it all over herself, and Jeannie was trying to prevent the dog from further spreading it around. Because that's where her little bathroom is too. Jeannie's, not the dog's. The dog's is supposed to be out the back door. Anyway. So I hold the dog while Jeannie starts trying to clean up this additional pile of poop. And when Jeannie bent over, her cell phone fell out of her pocket right into the pile of poop. Jeannie stands up, starts to cry. And the only thing I could do is go over and hug her and tell her, look, it ain't funny now, but believe me, in a few months, we'll tell this story and we'll get a laugh. So, anyway, that is kind of where, uh, where my life has been lately. Uh, it, it's a daily struggle with my dog. In fact, uh, this morning after I got up, I took her out. I gave her a little bit of food. I immediately took her out again because the dog doesn't like to do anything but tinkle the first time out. She'll tinkle and then she expects to be taken in and given food. And I should have known better. I should have known to leave her out a little longer and try to make her go poop. But I wanted to get out and do a moto vlog this morning, so I didn't leave her out. So after she ate, she's coming back to the back door where I'm standing there with the leash. And as she gets about 20 feet from the door, she starts pooping. So I take her out, let her finish her poop. Then I kind of hang her leash in the doorway so she's stuck outside because there's poop all the way from the door into the little breakfast nook area in the house. And I got to clean up poop again this morning. I mean, and this is like a regular thing. Uh, yeah, there have been more than a few times when I wanted to kill the dog, but after the, uh, the vet told us that, yeah, she has dementia and she just forgets, which I really am not sure I buy that. I really am not. I kind of wonder if the dog sometimes isn't paying us back. But anyway, that's another story, and I'll get to that another time. So hopefully this moto vlog comes out. And hopefully you like the new setup. If not, meh, whatever. At least I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying. Trying to get a motor vlog in. So anyway, this is RC62, and that's my story, and I'm sticking to it.